What's good, what's good? How y'all feeling, man? It's your boy Ill Flow Spitter, aka Cleave the Venom, coming out to H Town, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. It's that closet TV where I'm bringing the news from the closet. What's going down, man? How y'all feeling? What's good, what's good? Okay, so this is another show, man, another episode, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, a closet TV. I appreciate y'all tuning in, man, you know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. I appreciate y'all tuning in. So, uh, Mr. Charleston White drops a video today pertaining to um, WAC 100. It appears as if WAC 100 has reached out to Charleston White to try to get him to go against Jay Prince. Maybe because he thought that because Charleston White had some things to say about Jay Prince Jr. that he was going to be willing to go against Jay Prince for another out-of-towner, for an out-of-towner, for an out-of-town nigga. You know what I'm saying? And so Charleston White is basically saying, nah, I might have had my issues or whatever with Jay Prince or whatever you want to call it, but I ain't going to go against him for you. You know what I'm saying? Texas stands strong. We stick together. You know what I'm talking about? Straight up. So let's play what uh, let's play what Charleston White had to say real quick. You feel me? Fair use, y'all. Fair use. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jay Prince. Shout out to Charleston White. Chia. So my partner, who, my partner, Wack No, my nigga Infobot, Wack 100 called Infobot last night. And say, so my nigga called me and say, man, I got somebody I want to talk to. You did. Well, I'm just leaving my birthday dinner. I got my wife in the car. I got my daughter in the car. I'm just leaving a bad ass birthday dinner. So, he said, you did. I said, I, yeah, kind of, sort of. And I got him on speakerphone, right, riding in the car. I got him on speakerphone. My nigga said, somebody want to talk to you. He didn't say whack, so I got him on speakerphone. So when he clicked over, whack 100 talking. So Info never got to say, hey, uh, whack, I got Charles on the phone. I heard whack 100 voice. I hang up. Let me, let me pause it right there. So. Charleston White says that Infomine, I think his name is Timbo or something like that, um, from Infomine, shout out to him, reached out to Charleston White and said that WAC 100, well, he didn't say WAC 100 was on the room, was in the, uh, I said the room, like clubhouse. He didn't say that WAC 100 was on the phone, but he did say that he got somebody on the phone, and when Charleston White realized who it was, he hung up. Let's keep it going. My nigga called me with WAC on phone. So I called my nigga back and said, God damn, nigga, you gonna call me with the nigga on the phone like give me a heads up? I got you on speakerphone with my wife in the car. You give me a heads up, homie, you know that nigga up. So my wife heard his voice. My wife said, is that that guy? Oh, no. Who is that calling you with him on the phone? They trying to set you up, baby. I said, no, nah, baby, that's my boy. She said, no, nah, no, nah, baby, you might not need to trust him. He, he got him on the phone? That man lied on you, baby. I said, exactly. Why would this bitch ass nigga be calling me? <laughs> and who would think I would talk to this nigga? And this bitch ass nigga done lied on me. And I'm gonna talk to that bitch ass nigga. And me, me and that bitch ass nigga either kill each other or stay away from each other. Mm. We either kill each other or stay away from each other. We came in and nigga say that nigga lied on me. Unless he called and say, man, I'm sorry for lying on you. And I don't even want to hear that. Just stay away from me, bitch ass nigga. So, so, I don't answer the call, right? So, my nigga Rainwater called me. My nigga Rainwater called me. I said, say, man, I see you been getting into it with that bitch that nigga whack one on. Okay, so he said Rainwater called him. That's Mo3's former manager. Rest in peace to Mo3. So, Rainwater calls Charleston White. Let's go, let's go. Rainwater said, hey, Charleston, after I got into it with whack, I got a call from an FBI agent. What? He said after I got into it with Wack 100, I got a call from the FBI. That's crazy. So Charleston White is saying that Rainwater hit him up, called him, 
who said that after Rainwater himself got into it with WAC 100, he got a call from the FBI, the Alphabet, the Alphabet Brothers, the Alphabet Boys. You know what I'm talking about? That's kind of crazy though, bro. Because, you know, Rainwater, he be doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? But for him to, you know, Rainwater not even in the streets. So why would the FBI be even worried about a nigga that's not even in the streets? That says a lot about WAC, bro. I think WAC is an agent. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Fair use. Ask me about the most in case. What the fuck? I told y'all. I told y'all that nigga was with them people. How the fuck he gonna go from uh, 6 9 And I just wanna remind everybody, Black 100 was able to get close to 6 9 when he was on the Federal Witness Protection Program. Damn. How does a guy, a gangbanger, has access to a federal witness protection person in a witness protection program? So I said, no, nah, something ain't right about that. How does WAC get all of this information from 1995, 1996? In 95, 96, WAC was 17, 18 years old. So I tell them for my homie, what I look like talking to that nigga, that nigga said, I don't fuck the phone. If I accept this phone call, then I'm gonna look like a straight hoe. But even listen, this nigga tell me anything, nigga. Don't, don't know me and he can't do nothing, my nigga. So, whack one hundred. I don't want to talk to you, bitch ass nigga. We either kill each other, stay away from each other, ho, or come down here and die. Or never, we don't want to talk to you. Uh. He with rainwater? Oh, no, homie. The feds got that nigga coming down here fucking with him. I don't want nothing to do with him. But what he know, and I know, I got law enforcement friends. I got law enforcement homeboys. And they said, say, homie, stay off that clubhouse app. That's a law enforcement social media app. Why do you think you don't see, you don't see two chains on there? You don't see Kevin Gates on there? You don't see no rappers on there talking? All street niggas. Jonathan White does have a point. I don't really see a lot of mainstream rappers on Clubhouse. Hmm. He does have a point. Keep going. Talk of street shit to other street niggas around the country. And you can't see no face. So you don't know if it's an undercover police officer playing street. Yeah, nigga, we know. And how does WAC get all the FBI's information? Soon as WAC 100 and Rainwater get into it, all of a sudden Rainwater get contacted by the FBI. Rainwater ain't no street nigga, and everybody know that. So why would the FBI be contacting him all of a sudden after dealing with WAC 100? Now you got WAC 100 reach out to InfoMod, InfoMod reach out to me. Mm -mm. I don't want nothing to do with that nigga. This nigga talk about Larry Hoover, and he got Larry Hoover in the FBI prison. We got video. How he can go in there? I don't want nothing to do with this guy, homie. I don't want nothing to do with this guy. And now he's trying to wave the white flag. Hey, InfoMod, can you call Charleston so we can run the numbers up? I'm running the numbers up without the FBI, nigga. Facts. Charleston White is running his numbers up. When I, see, the, one thing I, the, the only thing I don't like about Charleston White is when he gets extremely disrespectful and he crossed the line. Disrespecting Islam, disrespecting Allah, disrespecting, you know, DMX, you know, Nipsey, just different stuff like that. I ain't like that, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to his points and stuff, and his like his actual points though, they be a hundred percent, bro. They be a hundred percent. I just don't like I don't want to say the delivery, because the delivery be, be on point too. It's just what he says sometimes it's just too disrespectful and he's crossing the line with trying to get his point across. Other than that, I have no problem with Charleston White. And I've been saying that. Ever since the first blog I made about him when he first disrespected Islam and, and, and the real Muslims. I ain't talking about the nation of Islam. I'm talking about the real Muslims that pray five times a day and they're trying to avoid the punishments of the grave. They're trying to be winners on the day of judgment. And after the day of judgment, they are trying to enter the gates of paradise. Them type of Muslims. And I, and I feel like he crossed the line. He should have said all that. But he could always ask. He, he can always apologize. We're going to forgive him because in Islam, we forgive because Allah is the most merciful. Keep going. Play button. Uh, I don't want you, man. I'm running my numbers up without the FBI. But what you do know is, nigga, I told the truth. 
because somebody whispered in my ear, that's law enforcement, just, hey, stay away from Clubhouse and Black 100. It is the bank. Snow Bitch, Pistol Pete, Jay Prince, all these people have been drawn into this web. He's like the magnet to the streets. That makes sense. Whack 100 is baiting people into a, a cesspool of negativity and beef and drama and slander and dry snitching, self snitching, snitch snitching. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, of course the alphabet boys are watching. Hell yeah, they watching. If you notice, Jay Prince is not going back and forth with no damn Whack 100. They're not even on the same level. Why do you, you think Jay Prince is going to respond to any of those threats and any of those, you know, uh, disrespectful comments and threats and all of that, bro? Nah. I don't think Jay Prince will ever respond to that. Straight up and down. Niggas is campaigning, so, you know, an election might take place. It is what it is. <coughs> not only that, the FBI just made a, not sorry, state government just made a big sweep with state RICO charges. Stay away from Whack 100. So why would WAC 100 be calling me? Man, let's, let's talk. Let's run the numbers up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm running the numbers up without you, Nick. That's right. That's square business. Let's run the numbers up. Look at that. Just imagine that. WAC 100 calling Charleston White because he knows Charleston White is controversial. You know what I'm saying? Let's run the numbers up. Run up the numbers for negativity and demonic. Oh, my God, bro. These demonic, slandering ass niggas, man. And then you might be a fed at that, bro. That's crazy. You call Charleston White to aid and abed you with, with, with slander and hate and, 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 and negativity. And I'm not saying Charleston White is an angel, but at least he's advocating for positivity in certain type of ways. I just don't like certain stuff he be doing. And, I, and I, I've called it out. I'm not friendly about none of the stuff that I be calling out to. Straight up. But when it comes to what he really stand for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do believe that Charleston White is, you know what I'm saying, an individual who has a delivery that gets the attention of people. I just feel like he crosses the line too much, and I've said that plenty of times. But I respect what he does when it comes to the positive stuff. And you got WAC 100 baiting niggas in so that the feds can be watching their asses. Ridiculous. What you talking about? You don't see all them say cheese TV the way the motherfucker ain't nobody ever done that on say cheese TV. Video, 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 video. And them numbers is ain't nobody doing that. Nobody's numbers is bigger than mine. Whack 100, NBA Young Boy, Kevin Samuel, Snow. Ain't nobody YouTube numbers bigger than mine. So this is what the this is what my police buddy, law enforcement friend told me. That's a part of the entertainment circle. He said, hey, have you noticed the only platform that don't monetize and pay anybody is Clubhouse. Clubhouse don't pay one dollar. So what's the incentive of being Clubhouse? He has another great point. People not making no money off Clubhouse. There's no monetization, no incentive, none of that. So basically, people are just on Clubhouse, not even understanding that they digging themselves in a hole that they can't even see. Ridiculous, bro. Fuck Clubhouse. Nigga. <clears throat> What's the incentive of being on Clubhouse and it don't make no money? Clubhouse is not even talking about monetization. No advertisement. You don't promote business. They don't play songs. It's all street talk. So what's the benefit of going to clubhouse nothing talking nothing and there's no monetization well if you look at your if you look at the analytical data yeah i'm digging this is nba young boy because nba young boy said he's taking his music off youtube right so he's not going to youtube i'm digging nba young boy the youtube searches it's the data collection we got the data I'm sorry y'all don't think that. <laughs> We're going to stop that right there. Shout out to Charleston White, the positive version of Charleston White. Not the nigga that say I rape women and talk bad about the creator and, and Muslims and Christians and all that. Not that Charleston White. The Charleston White that make that talk like he got some sense, I rock with that all day. Squad business.
You know what I'm saying? He, he That nigga got the balls to say stuff that you idiots, that you cowards ain't got the balls to say. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to him. So what I get out of this particular video was that WAC 100, Charleston White don't rock with you. You know what I'm saying? And I, and, I, and I advise the whole industry not to rock with you, bro. You're a negative person. You're pushing 50 and you, and, and you promote pure hate, nigga. You promote slander. You promote hate. You promote digging your nose in people's business. You promote violation of privacy you promote uh uh, uh 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 disrespect you know what i'm saying and then you you also sit up there and be on clubhouse and you let women maybe like one or two females disrespect men at the same time while y'all on there talking over each other with all those cluttered up voices and then whack 100 voices the loudest voice because he has some type of microphone that's <laughs> some type of microphone app attached to his goddamn phone to where he's the loudest voice Amongst 12 people cluttered on top of 12 voices clustered on top of each other. Flat out ridiculous, man. Anyways, man, shout out to Charleston White, the positive Charleston White. You know what I'm saying? Whack 100. I don't, I, 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 I have no respect for you. I hope you change, though, because everybody can change. You're still alive. You're still breathing. Everybody can change. Every day you wake up is another day from, every day that you wake up is another day of mercy from the creator, the almighty creator. You feel me? So hopefully WAC 100 get it together, bro. But if you know better, you show better. If you knew better, then you do better. WAC, better act better. WAC, better act better. Straight up and down. So anyways, man, it's your boy Ill Flow Spitter, a.k.a. Cleve the Villain, coming out to the Ace Town, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. Naija boy, Nigeria. Yes, so my brothers. You know what I'm saying? It's that closet TV where I bring you the news from the closet. We all talking about Southwest, nigga. Ace Town, you feel me? Yeah, you know what's up, nigga. I'm finna get up out of here. God bless you. And God bless y'all families, too. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I love all my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Much love to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Whack 100. The stuff that you're doing is whack. And it ain't 100. I'm gone. Chill.